Hey, internet. This is my Trek Roscoe 7, and I wanted to give you guys a little walk around of my personal bike and what I've done to it. You can probably tell if you're familiar with those Roscoe 7s that mine is not the way it came off of the showroom floor. So I'd like to show you what I've done to mine um, and how I like it. So let me kind of start off with uh, the basics. It's got a 65 degree head tube angle when it's around 140 millimeter fork, a fork that comes on the 7 is the RockShox Recon RL, or maybe it's the gold. It's the shorter offset. I believe it is the 42 mil uh, offset fork on this thing. It is. And immediately what I've done is swapped out the wheels. Uh, so the seven is the cheapest of this frame line, which is the seven, eight, and the nine. The higher the number, the nicer the components. Well, I wanted this frame specifically for this color combo because would you just look at it? Yeah, loving it. So uh, I immediately swapped out the wheels for these. Uh, it's got i9 Hydra's hubs with the Spank 350 rims, and they are wrapped in 2.6 butchers in the front, and the Eliminator, uh, both are 2.6 soil searching models in the rear. While I'm on the rear, we're running uh, the 180 tram centerline rotor, Dior 12 speed cassette, Dior derailleur, and kind of moving forward. Um, we've got the Praxis Cadet on a, I believe it's a 30 tooth. It is 30, 30 tooth because it says it right there. Uh, chain ring. And I'm, I've installed these loam, PNW loam metal pedals, which spin for days. I mean, just look at that. I did add the two bottle cages. These are also Bontrager, Trek Bontragers, and they kind of match the colors on this bike like to a T. Um, moving forward, I do still have the same tran or whatever droppers on this. I believe it's in-house Bontrager dropper, but I did swap out to a WTB Volt. This is the TI um, with the TI rail. So really like that saddle. All right, so moving up towards the front on this thing, cockpit wise, we are looking at left to right. PNW loam grips running the wolf tooth dropper remote or wolf tooth remote as they call it uh, in this nice anodized orange which is a perfect match to the color scheme here currently I've got a set of guide R well the guide R front caliper for piston brake set up I stole this off of my wife's stump jumper put uh, the G2 RS's on hers but those aren't going to stay because uh, on the other side of this bar which is the one up 35 carbon handlebar that is held in place by a race face turbine R stem in a 40 millimeter length um, is the Shimano SLX brakes. So I run these same brakes on my stump jumper and really like the feel of the Shimano brake system. Um, so I love I love the SLX. I think that's kind of like the sweet point for uh, for the S for the Shimano brake system. All right, and also, of course, the other PNW uh, loam grip, of course. And what else? What else? Um, was that it? Did I just cover everything? Gosh, I might have, huh? Well, there we go, guys. That is my bike kind of bike check um, for the moment. What's next, you might ask? All right, so the next thing I want to do is when, okay, so. Leads me to the brakes. What am I going to do? Am I going to run a, an SLX and a code? No, I mean a guide. No, I'm not. I'm waiting for the SLX four piston to come in to run on the front of this thing. And I'm also debating, do I run it with the 180 millimeter rotor, which is on here now, and it's already running a 20 mil adapter um, to fit it? Or do I, well, that's one question. Uh, I guess I'll just use the 180s when it comes in. I'll probably order a matching uh, SRAM center lock a rotor to go in the front but the bigger question is do i want to keep this rock shocks recon fork it's it's okay but you know coming off of my stump jumper with the pike uh i really do like the plushness of that pike so i'm kind of debating what i want to do as far as fork goes in the front um i don't like running an adapter and i don't want to run a bigger adapter than this to do a 200 that's the other thing i also want to do is go to a 200 millimeter rotor um, and that's easier to do with a fork that supports 180 natively. 
Um, that's like a, an entirely different topic of discussion. But here's my bike setup as is. Really loving it. Gosh, I just like that color combo. I could stare at this for uh, quite some time. All right, have any questions, let me know. But there it is. This is my 2022 Trek Roscoe 7. Thanks for watching, guys.